German-made heavy armor pieces are rolling through the fields of Russia's Kursk region again, some 80 years since one of the biggest battles of World War II in the same area, Bild wrote, reporting on Kiev's cross-border incursion. The German tabloid, citing videos posted online, said that several martyr infantry fighting vehicles have been spotted among the equipment used by the Ukrainian military in its offensive. The news of German-made weapons being used in an attack on Russia's internationally recognized Russian territory has prompted a mixed reaction in Germany. The head of the German parliament's defense committee, Marcus Faber, stated he had no issues with the development. Any weapons handed over to Kiev cease to be German and become Ukrainian ones, he told the Funk Media Group. He also described the territory of both Ukraine and Russia as a war zone. Ukraine has the right to self-defense enshrined in international law, Germany's foreign ministry told Politico in a statement. This is not limited to its own territory. Many politicians in Germany's conservative opposition have provided even more full-throated support for the Ukrainian offensive and the use of German weapons on Russian territory. Rodrich Kieswetter, a senior lawmaker with the Christian Democrats, told Politico it's totally legitimate to strike staging areas inside Russia with weapons donated by Germany. The question of whether Western weapons are involved doesn't come up because, after they are delivered, they are Ukrainian weapons, said Kieswetter. German Chancellor Olaf Scholz has so far refrained from breaking away from his summer vacation to say anything about the incursion. Both Berlin and Washington shifted policy on hitting Russian territory in May in response to the Russian offensive against Ukraine's second city of Kharkiv. Ukraine has the right, guaranteed under international law, to defend itself against these attacks, a German government spokesperson said at the time. I response Deputy Chair of Security Council of Russian Federation Dmitry Medvedev wrote on X account, the German newspaper Bild has published a revanchist article where it proudly announces German tanks come back to the Russian land. In response, we're going to do everything to bring the newest Russian tanks to Platz d. Republic. The Russian army is running out of light armored vehicles. It has reached a plateau in terms of ammunition, and today the number of shells is much smaller than two years ago at the beginning of the full-scale invasion. The enemy is increasing the production of drones and trying to carry out more massive strikes on infrastructure facilities in Ukraine, but it does not have an infinite number of tanks and motivated manpower, so it is quite possible to predict that the Russian army will exhaust its offensive potential in the fall. This opinion was expressed by Maximilian Andronikov, deputy commander of the Freedom of Russia Legion, Caesar, in an interview with Vasily Golovanov on the YouTube channel Fabrika Novosti. But it is not only the exhaustion of technical capabilities that will dampen the ardor of the Russian occupiers, the warring oppositionists added. There is another important factor. The mood among Russian citizens is becoming increasingly anti-war. People are beginning to understand that the adventure that Putin has started is not at all needed by the people of the Russian Federation. He said, look, in two weeks, there have been four dam breaks in Russia. Putin keeps talking about some kind of breakthrough. He probably means a scientific and technical breakthrough. But so far, only dams that are not very complex hydraulic structures are bursting. But he can't even maintain them in normal working order, Andronikov noted. He also answered the question of what the Legion would do if military actions froze. According to him, the Legionnaires, as volunteers, could very well go home and begin on their native land those actions that they consider necessary. But as a citizen of the Russian Federation, a Russian person and a Christian, I will not lay down my arms as long as Putin and his clique exist. Because if Putin personally dies, the system will remain the same. I will fight against it with all available forces and means. Military, political, ideological. And many of my legionnaire brothers are ready to follow my example, said the leader of Freedom of Russia.